Welcome to Evolution in Controls. I'm your host, Tim Wilson. Thank you for joining us. We're in Detroit, Michigan at the Automate 2025 show, and we're talking to exhibitors here about technology and automation. We're at the Bosch Rexroth booth, and I'm here with Dave Cameron, and he's here to talk to us about the technology. Dave, the question I'm asking all of the exhibitors is, how is automation driving the design and the solutions that you're offering to your customers? What are we, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so we're looking at our controls platform, and the control part is the heart of how everything works. It ties together I.O. and safety and touchscreens, but the, the critical part is our controller. You call this Control X, right? Control X Core, and why is it different? Why is it changing things? Well, everything has to be connected in a process. Cameras, robots, all kinds of software pieces, and so our controller does that in a simple way like a smartphone, it has apps, for engineering and for connectivity. So things like pneumatics, like robots, are done through apps, and it's changing the way people engineer systems. So you have then an app store. You have apps that you load onto the Control X to accomplish the different things that you're wanting to, to do in machine control. Exactly. Is this your app store then, or are these your this partners? This is showing the partnerships that we have. Besides what we make, we see some very common names on there. KUKA, FANUC, um, uh, Balif, uh, SMC, those are partners, partners who create apps that work on our controller that are available on the App Store for customers to use. So it's freedom of choice and it's connecting a lot of pieces of automation. Well, what else are you showing here? I don't see any motion or drives or anything. Do you have other stuff to show us? Let's take a look. Let's go take a look. All right, Dave, we looked at the brains. Yep. What are we looking at here? There's a lot of stuff here. Yep. What is this? This is showing what our roots are. Premier motion control. We have 40 axis on display here, 20 on the top, half meter, 20 on the bottom, half meter, a meter of drive, 40 axes and one meter. So each one of these drives, each one of these modules is controlling two axes? Correct. Okay. We show safety, you see some safety. We have safe motion on the top, uh, safe torque off on the bottom. Okay. So safety is part of a typical machine to make sure everything's running safe. And that's all networked here. And we're showing that as well with our controller controlling all the motion. Does the safety run through the control X? Yeah, of course. And the safety box here, cause it happens redundantly. That's fantastic. So you've got high axis count in a small area, two axes drive. These are working with the control X, right? With the brains. Correct. With our control X core right here, running all the synchronization. All right, what else do you got here? You got, you got more to show us? We sure do. All right. Okay, Dave, that was a lot of drives in a small space. What are we looking at here? So on the, on the theme of drives, this is a, another, another place to talk about. Um, we've been in the business of cabinet-free drives. So these large cabinets that would take, for example, 40 axes, we've always uh, offered uh, a cabinet-free solution. This is the Control X next generation cabinet-free drive. Is this, this is the a, drive? This is a double drive. Two so axes. Two axes in this box running two motors. So that means if you, if you gain, for example, that 40 you, and you had double drives, then you would only need 20 of these machine mounted. I don't have to put this in a cabinet. I can put, put this out on the machine, Correct. the leg of the machine. Correct. What do we have over here? So this is showing the smaller scale on the power range of the drives. This is our new compact series drive. So you can see it's very small. Very small. We're showing two different sizes. We do have a third size. And what's interesting is this is the first time we're offering an IO module slice servo drive. So it fits in what you know as an IO module yep. is now a servo drive and a slice for those little tiny applications. For the smaller ones. So we're, this is really featuring the compactness offering for our drives. So those drives are half the, half the height of the drives that we looked at, and then you've got an even smaller slice drive there. Correct. Okay, this is really great. You got anything else in the bag of tricks? Sure do. All right, let's go look at it. Well, John, Dave Cameron handed the ball off to you. He said, you've got something great to show me. What are we looking at here? So what we're looking at here is our new Control X Flow 6D, 6D standing for six degrees of freedom. The idea behind it is we can actually levitate and move as we need to go. Levitate, Ma levitate. magnetic levitate. Permanent magnet movers inside the mover that allows the levitation. So again, what we're doing is running about 20 millimeters, up to 20 millimeters of levitation. We can go up, oh, down, till- A little bit less than an inch. Yep, a little bit less than an inch. The idea is, again, safe to touch, safe torque off, no issues there. Um, by using the permanent magnets, we can operate on the side, over its head, anything you want to do. So if we tip that on its side. Yeah, no problem. You're going to tip it. I'm going to tip it here for you. Stays right on the wall. 
<laughs> moves around, continues its sequence. That's um, very cool. Yeah. One of the cool features of us with the six degrees of freedom is also with the safe torque off. As you lose power, you're not gonna fall off. The what happens if the power goes out? Hit the e-stop and show you. Here? Yep. Goes right to the surface, to your product, or the mover doesn't Magnetic. actually pull it. Magnets, yep, so we actually pull it. So we don't, we're not a coil-based system that we need to lose power and drop. And then just to reset, you pull the e-stop, reset it. Just pull it out? Yep. Give it a second to reset. It floats on and continue on your sequence right from there. Okay, that's, for, that's, that's really cool, John. What, what do we have here? Is this part of the same thing? There's no, there's no rails here. Nope, that's no rail system. So this is our mechanical track-based system using the same flow technology or what we call in a flow process through our app system. This is a track and it's guided bearing systems using those same magnet precision accuracy. It's guided side to side, yep. but it's still levitating? It's not levitating, it's on a track and there's okay. coils built into the track system that basically the idea is the same thing that's inside of here For the is what's into there. So okay. high speed, fully smart controlled motion. No longer are you tied to individual point to point. You can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Vertical, horizontal, overhead, side everything. down, yep. all, all the applications that. there. That's fantastic. John, this is very cool technology. Thank, Thank you for showing this. I appreciate your time today. Appreciate your time as well. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about Evolution Motion Solutions, visit us at evolutionmotion.com. Don't forget to subscribe to Evolution in Controls on whatever platform you use for podcasts or on YouTube for a video version so you can be notified when we release new episodes. Thank you again for joining us here at Automate 2025. Remember, keep moving.